The newly adopted UN Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs, and the role education plays in achieving them have been at the heart of this year's World Innovation Summit for Education in Doha. World leaders gave their views on these hot topics. The SDGs seem like a dream in Mena, where we experience the nightmarish sensation of falling backwards, where our schools have been turned into cemeteries and our students and teachers into refugees. To have the With 62 million girls worldwide missing out on school, U.S. First Lady Michelle Obama has called for an end to outdated laws and traditions. So today, to all of the men here, I want to be very clear. We need you. Yes. As fathers, as husbands, and simply as human beings, this is your struggle too. More than 1,500 education experts, teachers, and students from different countries were exploring ideas around investment in education. While everyone agrees on the need to address quality and equality, how to do that is less clear. The, the definition of quality is still not uh, uh, very clear, accepted by, by all. Uh, if you go to the United States to uh, one school, for them quality means maybe to have one computer. If you go to a remote population that they never have been in school, for them quality means to have a pencil. It takes time to, to offer to all the same type of uh, best uh, tools. If we want our children to be creative, to be innovative, to have life skills, to conceptualise themselves as global citizens, and I do think we want all of those things, uh, we still have to focus on literacy and numeracy because we're not going to get to those higher achievements unless children have the basic. As part of the Wise Learners Voice programme, 33 young education advocates from different countries also shared their views. In my team, we were focusing on teacher training. Teacher training but because we believe that to have a better equality education wherever in the world, it starts by the teacher. Fostering innovation in education was also a main topic discussed at the summit. It is all about innovation here at this learning lab. These activities are influenced by creative pedagogies in a setup inspired by the best classrooms. It aims to boost creativity, collaboration and learning. These students are about to get a visit from a very special guest. The First Lady joined in with children and teachers from various schools in Qatar in different activities including cracking codes, crunching data, learning with Lego and exploring robots. The current migrant crisis in the Middle East and Europe and its overwhelming impact on education was also a prominent theme at the summit. So we need to give a higher priority to funding education uh, within the humanitarian activities. But that's not enough. We have to deal with the root causes. We have to, uh, we have to help solve this, this, this crisis. People, especially in conflict areas, may well be inspired by Dr. Sakena Yakubi, who won the Wise Prize worth half a million dollars or 460,000 euros for her outstanding work in providing education and healthcare for millions of people in Afghanistan.